What's going on, everybody? We're going to start what's come in so far for the mail week. It'll be a two-part video here, so all wrapped into one. I think the only thing else I got coming in this week is a bunch of Golden Auction stuff they finally shipped in from, like, two and three weeks ago's auctions, which some really big bangers in there, for me at least. And a couple cards that I picked up, I believe, last night might make it in by the end of the week, too. So... Going into through some of this stuff, this was, I think most of this was all Zoom pickups minus one. Little Soto pops out of 10. Redemption, too. Uh, looking at it over, I mean, with the blackboard in the back, very hard. But to really, you know, probably get a 10 onto it. So I'm just going to leave it sealed. Pretty cool piece. Like the patch onto it and stuff, two color. So. Yeah, probably going to hold Soto's stuff a little bit for right now. See what happens with them. Baseball season's starting to get kind of dry, even though we're, I know we're getting ready to hit the World Series. Go Diamondbacks. All right, up next, Upper Dick Goodwin Champions T-Law Auto. I think these are like $100, roughly. Pretty cool. Upper Dick did something with uh, T-Law for rookie year and stuff. These, I believe... Oh, no, this was the good one, Champs, yeah. I was trying to remember, they did another one where you where it was like an EPAC pull, too. I know Joey wanted that, too. This is the only card that came out of a break. Horsefield, one of the SP case hits out of uh, Panini Black, one of, like, the three or four or whatever it is. But it's Bijan Robinson. I think they go for, like, 100-ish. So... Get my price back into it and stuff like that, basically. The rest, like I said, are all Zoom pickups. 2003 Top Prospects, LeBron James, PSA 10. Fast Break. One of my favorites, though, has always been Fast Break and Choice when it came out years and years ago. But uh, this is LaMelo Ball, rookie. We'll see what happens with LaMelo this year. I'll end it off with two football just for Wildcat. Up first, 98 Bowman Chrome Preview Peyton Manning rookie. Uh, nine on this one. Then the same exact card, but BGS 9 Peyton Manning. Those will probably be off to DC land. Uh, one knows on a Zoom. So. I, I just, I won't be able to move Peyton Manning out here. And due to the fact that just so much Peyton Manning stuff being close to Indy out here. I'm trying to think, but what do you guys see the what's coming up here in the video with some of the stuff that I picked up from Golden? I'm telling you, at least two of the cards I can think of off the top of my head are like basically going to be very hard for me to get rid of. I, I may even hold the one player, even though I don't collect them at all, just because that grade and that type of card... It's just insane. Stand by. We're about to get into it. All right, guys. Continuing on with the mail week. Got in two packs to say there should be one or two more floating in tomorrow, Saturday. So I'll wrap that into this video, too. So this is kind of like part two. All this stuff came from Golden Auctions. Um, one was like three weeks ago. And then two of these I'll show first. These were actually in the PSA vault from the last auction. And those ship really, really, really quick. So up first, 2020 Spectra, Eason, and uh, Jonathan Taylor, dual patch auto, PSA 10. Yes, I know Eason's on this, but Taylor's the other big name on to it. Um, picked this up really cheap. I mean, honestly, I bought it under the raw price. 10 out of 30 on to it. So being up near Indianapolis, maybe use it for some trade bait. No longer with the Celtics. I believe it's Portland he is with. Correct me if I'm wrong. But NT, RPA, Horizontal, Robert Williams III, very cheap, PSA 8. NT is just such an expensive product to get stuff like that dirt cheap. You could just take stabs at every now and then. These were all very, very long, like three weeks, almost four weeks ago, if you count the auction going off tonight. Up first... Jake Gensel, 17 SP game used, draft day mark, came back as a 9. I love this card as a 9. Um, go Pens, even though we're having a bad season. 
Up next, 2022 Herbert. This is the White Prism PSA 9. I believe it's out of 75. Yep, out of 75. Got right. A little Herbie action, you know. Still believe in him. I'm going to show you the one that's in the big case, and I'll show you the last card. Uh, these two here probably might stay with me unless I could find, you know, something I really, really wanted for them. And I don't know how I'm going to get this in there, but we're going to go this way. Let me try to move these out of the way. There we go. So Beckett graded. This is exquisite. 2012-13. 8.5 on a booklet. Very good. Um, numbered out of 45, Larry Bird Auto from Exquisite Collection. Really, really happy to get this piece. I'm a fan of Exquisite. Everybody knows that. I know these patches were, what do they call them? Uh, manufactured patch. But these were still cool things back in the day. I do like Upper Deck. Grading an 8.5, not bad. Surface is what really got it. I think if we would have got a 9 on it, uh, it still would have been an 8.5. But pretty cool. Let me put it back in the bag. They gave bubble wrap baggie. They gave it awesome. Thank you, thank you, Golden, for that. I appreciate the well handling of that, guys. There's a booklet coming in tomorrow. So when I wrap up the mail week, it's gonna be like, wow. And finally, for the PC, Beckett Nine, the Cup, Gretzky and Rob Blake, dual auto out of twenty five. This will not cross over, even though they were 395s, the surface had something on to it. Not really going to try anything with it, just PC purposes on to it. Gretzky just getting old, man. I liked watching him when I was a kid, then Lemieux and everything, so been silently picking up that stuff. All right, guys, on to part three right now. All right, guys, part three. This ends mail week for this week. Next week, we should have a few pieces in. I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, he's going to a card show this week. And I may not go tomorrow, to be honest. I've bought a lot of stuff to where I'm comfortable with what I got right now. Either too set up, too great, or for my PC. And I just don't like having to go up there and, you know, you go walk around. Everybody's overpriced. You see something you really want. And you can't even get them down to what the last one sold at or even the average. Um... There's some good guys that I like work with, uh, but if I can get it online while I'm sitting at home and not have to turn and burn gas, we'll see. But I would probably say I'm like 80% sure I'm not going to the J&J All-Star Card Show tomorrow, but 20% chance I might. Never know. Mm. All right, guys, you guys ready? Only three cards to end it with. We're going to start with a little hockey Bobby Hall, Upper Deck Exclusive Priority Signings Auto, PSA 9. I th This is one out of three. As you can see, it's hand numbered. Bobby Hall, I think, is very, very underrated. Or not, his price is very underrated, I mean. Not the player. But, you know, when I came up, you had the halls that were in there and everything like that. You had the house. All kind of stuff going on. This is just one of those cards... For me, as being a kid, it was just one of the iconic moments, you know. And whenever they start doing autos, you're like, oh, Bobby Hall auto. You know, you always wanted Brad Hall, but you'd get Bobby. But, hey, pretty cool piece, though. Oh, this was um, Golden Auctions. Up next, it was kind of a toss-up for what I want to put up at the end is the uh, ending it all. But this is there's still one card after this. This here I picked up on Zoom. Sean Kemp Galaxy Obsidian 101 Auto. Look, Joey. Come get me. Come get me from Extreme. He really wants this card. I guess he also PC Sean Kemp. Um, now that I know that, I might actually look for him, but I got a couple Kemp's he's eyeballing up. Pretty cool, though. 101. Alright, the final card. Guys, I'm going to tell you now, I think this went dirt cheap on Golden Auctions. I don't know why it did. It's just amazing. And to find this, if you remember what we were talking about earlier in part two, I'm trying to figure out how I could drop this down without. All right, we're going to go way back. Do, 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 do. Mike Trap booklet. 
Peace to the bat. You guys ready for the grade? BGS 10. This is no joke. Look at that. It was 0.5 away from Black Label. A booklet. A freaking booklet. I can tell you now, I paid under $500 for that. That's just insane to have a... When I was looking at like what the raw booklets sell for from this, and then what I saw, I think it was a 9 go for or something. Maybe it was an 8.5. I forget. And this 10, I was just like, I'm taking this. I'm, I know there's a lot of Mike Trout autos out there uh, and stuff, but... This here, I think, will be the piece that I keep for PC while I get rid of a couple of the other child autos that I have. I mean, to get a 10, a Beckett 10 at that, on a booklet is pretty big. I already know Wildcat, it's baseball, I'm sorry. But I promise you, this last run at Golden, which will probably take a little bit to get here, I think it was either 5 or 6 out of the 9 cards I bought last night were football. I think. I think it's five because I could think of one hockey and a basketball right off the top of my head. Two basketball off the top of my head. But there was some sweet stuff into it. But overall, I mean, very happy with what I've been picking up on Golden. I, I'm one of the firm believers that I'm not trying to promote Golden Auctions at all. But, like, if you were to save up and you don't want to go, like, once a quarter, you know, you put $100 a paycheck away and you went in there with a the limit. You could find a nice card on there that's not circulated around enough or you don't see very often and put it in your PC. Um, and a lot of this stuff, you can really snipe in there. Joey got to see what I paid last night versus what the value was. And he's like, wow, that's really good. Now, granted, if I was to resell all that because there's some PC pieces into it, you know, I would think I was at like... Not making a number of it was like 69.2% of what value was on to, and that's with the commission. But you have just to be patient. Some weeks it's real good, some weeks it's not. A lot of the stuff I've just been buying just so I could have more leverage either in getting PC cards in or, you know, saving that money towards when something big comes up next year. And I'm, I try to do three nice big purchases a year. That I have that money put aside. I don't have to dig into like my savings and stuff with. So I guess you can say dabble dibble with the flipper side of the house or whatever. But let me know in the comments, guys, what do you guys think about some of this stuff? I mean, some really, really nice pieces that came in. The Gretzky, for one, definitely PC. Um, this here will go into the PC due to the grade mostly onto it. The Larry Bird, very sweet piece as well, too. I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff that came in off the top of my head. Those three there, because I've done this video over multiple days. Uh, it's just like, you know, I, I forget about some of the stuff that comes through here. But, and a lot of the stuff, like, I get and pick up cheap. And I just throw it to DC Sports just to make a couple bucks on at the end of the day. I'm trying to think. I think that might have been everything, though. It's come in through the week. The Bird. Herbert. Jake Gensel, he's off to a... Well, he's kind of frustrated with his beginning to start, if you were to hockey people. But yeah, just by looking at I mean, there there were some nice pieces, in my own opinion, that came in this week. Like I said, next week, well, we probably won't see the golden stuff minus three of the cards, because those are coming from PSA Vault. But some of the bigger stuff, the or the nicer stuff, that I'll be keeping one, two... Uh, three cards out of it. We won't see probably for middle of November. All right, everybody, that's it. Mail week complete. Got a few cards coming in this next week. A lot of it will be uh, looked at for grading. And then some stuff going D.C. just to get rid of. Um, But, yeah, you guys have a good weekend out there. It's Halloween weekend. I know some of you guys have Halloween events. Enjoy. Have fun. Trick or treat next week. And then we're off into the race to Thanksgiving, to Christmas, to New Year's. One thing I want to ask. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. We haven't really, I don't really use the website for much except for process and stripe payments, to be honest. If I did something on Black Friday where I grab like 10 to, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 cards. 
and just throw them up, you know, below value. Would you guys be interested in something like that? I mean, I'm just throwing an idea out there because I got a lot of stuff here. And instead of going DC, I could just cut the prices down, you know, onto it and stuff like that and throw it up on the website. Just for like kind of like a Black Friday thing. Like I could release half of it at one time and then the other half later or just release it all at once, you know, and see how it goes. But just let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. Other than that, be on the lookout. We're week eight gridiron games. I'll probably show the grand prize in about a week or two. And then we'll filter second, third place in in another video. All right, guys. Take care. I'm out.